ultraviolet catastrophe. A black body is a body with equal emissive and absorptive power. The black body spectrum gives the distribution of radiant energy from a black body over different frequencies. The energy density is very low for low frequencies. The energy density increases with frequency and reaches a maximum value for a particular frequency beyond which the intensity decreases. Physicists tried to explain the black body spectrum theoretically. The first attempt was done by Lord Rayleigh and James Jeans at the end of 19th century. To derive the formula for a black body radiation, Rayleigh and Jeans assumed that the walls of the cavity of black body are perfect reflectors. They also assumed that at absolute temperature T, the radiation inside the cavity will be a series of standing electromagnetic waves. Raleigh and James derived the formula for the energy density in the frequency interval between nu and the nu plus d nu and is given by u nu d nu equal to 8 pi kt by c cube nu square d nu. This is called Rayleigh Jeans formula. This formula successfully explains the low frequency part of the black body spectrum. But when the frequency increases towards the ultraviolet end of the spectrum, this formula predicts that the energy density should increase as nu square. In the limit of infinitely high frequencies, the energy density should also go to infinity. But in the actual spectrum, the energy density falls to zero as the frequency tends to infinity. This discrepancy between the prediction of Rayleigh Jeans formula and the actual black body spectrum is known as the ultraviolet catastrophe. The ultraviolet catastrophe or UV catastrophe is the discrepancy between the theoretical predictions of Rayleigh Jeans formula and the actual black body spectrum. In other words, Rayleigh Jeans formula failed to explain the observed spectrum in the ultraviolet region. In dictionary, catastrophe means an unexpected sudden disaster. This disaster takes place in the ultraviolet region. That is why the name UV catastrophe. Raleigh and James explained everything in the framework of classical physics. According to classical physics, the oscillations in the cavity walls should have continuous energy distribution. This assumption made them went wrong. In order to rectify this discrepancy, in 1900, a German physicist Max Planck assumed that the oscillations in the cavity walls could not have continuous distribution of possible energies, but they must have discrete specific energies. According to Max Planck, an oscillator emits radiations of energy h nu when it jumps from one energy state to the next lower state. When it jumps from lower state to next higher state, it absorbs radiation of energy h nu. Emission and absorption takes place not in continuous manner as described by the classical physics, but in discrete manner. Each discrete bundle carries energy h nu, where h is the Planck's constant whose value is 6.626 into 10 raised to minus 34 joule second. Each discrete bundle of energy is called a quantum of energy. According to Max Planck, 
that radiant energy E equal to mh nu. Based on this assumption, Max, Max Planck derived the Planck's radiation formula. He derived an equation for the energy density in the cavity in the frequency interval between nu and nu plus d nu and is given by u nu d nu equal to 8 pi h by c cube in the nu cube nu cube d nu divided by e raised to h nu by kt minus 1. This is called the Planck's radiation formula in terms of frequency. This law can explain the black body spectrum successfully. Thank you.